Today's lesson is over greatest common factor. So greatest common factor is trying to figure out the greatest number that can go into other numbers. For example, find the greatest common factor or GCF of 16 and 40. What is the greatest number you can divide 16 and 40 by? Some people who are very good at multiplication can do it in their head. But other kids will need some steps to do this. So let's think, what is the greatest number that go into 16, the greatest number that go into 40? So some people can look at a multiplication chart and find the answer. But if you don't have a multiplication chart available to you, this is another step you can do. So you have 16. You have 40. Factor. When you see the word factor, you need to make a factor tree. So, do you remember the lesson over prime factorization? Same thing. So, let's start with the first one. What are the two factors of 16? 2 times 8. If you don't like that one, use 4 times 4. So, is 2 a prime? Yes. Is 8 a prime? No. Composite. 8. 4 times 2. Which one of these 2 is a prime? 4. What makes 4? 2 times 2. So which one of these are prime? Both of them are prime. Let's go to the, the other side. What are the 2 factors of 40? I'm going to do 4 times 10. If you don't like that one, do 2 times 20, 5 times 8. So many ways to break down 40. So which one of these two are prime? Hmm. None, because I remember prime numbers are, first six prime numbers are 2, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13. Those are the first six prime numbers. So let's go to 4. Since none of these are prime, let me circle these so I know that these are prime numbers. And let's make a factor tree here. What, two, uh, what are the two factors of 4? 2 times 2. What are, what are the two factors of 10? 2 times 5. So which of these are prime? The 2s and the 5s, all of them. So now, this is where it gets a little harder. So we need to figure out what factors, prime factors, they share in common. So a couple ways you can do this. One way you can do this is this. 16, the factors of 16 are 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. The factors of 40 are 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. So what do they share in common? Hey, they both have a 2. Hey, they both have a 2. Hey, they both have another 2. Do they both share another 2? Nope. Does it share a 5? No. So what do they both share in common? A 2 times a 2 times a 2. So... The greatest common factor is they both share a 2 times 2 times 2, or 8. Be careful. Again, you're multiplying. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. So, what can you divide 16 and 40 by? By 8. That is the greatest factor you can divide 16 and 40 by, by 8. Let's try the next example. Find the greatest common factor, or GCF, of 30, 24, and 18. So, factor. Let's make a factor tree. 30. 24, 18. So what is the greatest number that go into 30, 24, and 18? Um, I'm not sure. Maybe 4? I don't know. 6? I really don't know. So let's go do a factor tree. 30. 3 times 10. Which of these two are prime? 3 is prime. 10. What two factors make 10? 5 times 2. 2 and 5 are prime, so I circle, circle. 24. Uh, 4 times 6. I'm sorry, are these prime? No. So what are the factors of 4? 2 and 2. And what are the factors of 6? 2 times 3. Which one of these are prime? All of them. What are the factors of 18? Um, 3 times 6. Or 2 times 9. I'm going to use 3 times 6. Which of these are prime? 3 uh, 6, what makes 6? 3 times 2, circle, circle. So, we have 30, 24, and 18. 
What are the factors of 30? 3 times 5 times 2. What are the factors of 24? 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. What are the factors of 18? 3 times 3 times 2. So let's find out what they share in common. Hey, they all share a 2. Mm, do they all share a 5? No. I think a 3. I see a 3 right here, a 3 right there, a 3 right there. Anything else they share? Mm, no more 2s. No 5. So the greatest common factor are 3 times 2. Or six. Hey, I did get the answer earlier. It's not four or six. My bad. So what is the greatest factor you could divide 30 and 24 and 18 by? It's by six. So this is the study of greatest common factor. It's finding the largest factor or number that go into two or three other numbers.